वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स अगेन सेम चैप्टर चैप्टर नंबर थ्री वीडियो नंबर फिफ्टीन टुडे वी विल सी अबाउट वेस्टर्न ब्रिज व्हाट इज वेस्टर्न ब्रिज सो वेस्टर्न ब्रिज इट इज अ डिवाइस व्हिच इज यूज्ड टू फाइंड what to find unknown resistance got it so what is western bridge if anybody will ask you have to write as a one sentence only western bridge it is a device which is used to find unknown resistance what is western bridge how it can be construct so western bridge consist of four registers these four registers you have to connect in series got it out of these four registers three registers are known means the value of resistance is known but one register is unknown right whose value of resistance we have to find okay these four registers are connected with connected with two devices which are they that is g meter what do you mean by g meter it is a galvanometer so what is galvanometer it is a device which is used to detect electric current not only that this combination means resistor and galvanometer they are connected with bakari means battery key and rheostat but in our new textbook rheostat is not given but here we are taking why because there is a practical of western bridge and in that practical you have to join the rheostat what is rheostat rheostat it is a device which is used to increase or decrease electric potential or electric current okay then let us see the construction of western bridge as it is given western bridge is made up of four registers so these four registers are connected in series with each other okay so let us see four registers that is r1 R two, R three, and R four. They are connected in series. There is a galvanometer. So it is galvanometer. It is symbolized as G. Again, galvanometer. It is used to detect presence of electric current. it is connected with battery key and rheostat so it is a battery key and rheostat okay
so this is the simple circuit battery having uh, emf e key k rheostate rh as we press the key electric current is passing from positive to negative terminal of a battery here a b c there is a one loop there is one more loop b d c b so this is a second loop so loop number 1 and loop number 2 what to do for this loops okay so in loop number 1 which is loop number 1 that is a b c again a so this is the loop you have to apply kirchhoffs second law okay before that at the point a there is kirchhoffs first law means at the point a electric current is divided into two that is i1 passing from r1 and i2 passing from r2 the same electric current you have to pass from i r3 that is i3 and i2 passing through r4 okay then for this loop apply kirchhoffs second law i1 r1 electric current is in clockwise direction so you have to take minus minus i1 r1 i2 r2 electric current is in opposite direction so it is plus take i1 r1 on this side so you will get give it equation number 1 let us take second loop bd cb again you have to apply kirchhoffs second law i 1 r3 i 2 R four is equal to zero. I one R three, but we are moving clockwise. I one is in our direction, so you have to take minus, and this plus. Why? Because I two is in opposite direction. Take on this side. Give it equation number two. so we have two separate equations for two loops then you have to take the ratio which ratio let us see a ratio of equation number 1 with 2 so you will get i1 r1 upon i1 r3 is equal to i2 r2 i2 r4 right here i1 i1 will cancel out here i2 i2 will cancel out then you will get the equation r1 upon r3 is equal to r2 upon r4 so this condition is known as balance condition of a western bridge okay so this condition is known as balance condition what will happen in this balance condition right in this condition galvanometer shows zero 
deflection means electric current passing through the circuit is zero and in this condition only you will find unknown resistance suppose in this for a register suppose r1 is unknown then make a subject r1 is equal to simple r2 by r4 multiply by r3 so by using this equation you can find unknown resistance with the help of western bridge okay this is two mark theory and the question will be asked like this what is western bridge you have to write this it consists of four registers are connected in series out of these four three registers are known one is unknown and that unknown resistance we can find with the help of which stun bridge western bridge have a look okay very easy and nice topic simple again i will remind you it is a two mark theory now let us see the compact form of western bridge means it is our second topic and second topic is meter bridge what is meter bridge it is a compact form of western bridge okay so what is it let us see again it is two mark theory so meter bridge meter bridge it is a compact form of western bridge it consists of only two registers right out of these two register one register is known and another is unknown and that unknown resistance you have to find with the help of meter bridge what is meter bridge let us see so it is a special device it is available there in our laboratory also it consists of conducting plates like this there are two windows here window number 1 in this window you have to join one register that is r that register is suppose unknown okay here there is a second window you have to join one more register which is known give it name s so according to the meter bridge two register one and two one is known that known we have taken s and second register is unknown that we have taken r okay here there is a one wire that wire is of 100 cm
okay so this is a wire and this western bridge is connected with a bakari again bakari means battery then key then rheostat same thing we have seen in western bridge also clear it is rh it is key it is a battery having emf e as we press the key electric current will flow from positive to negative terminal of a battery here there is a galvanometer now you come to know what is the use of galvanometer it is used to detect presence of electric current and another end of a galvanometer is connected with a jockey key symbol ab what is ab ab is a wire and this wire having length l having area a this area is uniform and because of this reason area is taken as one unit what about its resistance so we know that resistance r is directly proportional to l and inversely proportional to a so here we have taken a is equal to 1 unit so from this the resistance of a wire is directly proportional to its length got it so this is a resistance of a wire okay once again what is our assumption it is a wire ab having a length l area a this area is uniform cross section area it is taken as one unit and resistance is directly proportional to its length got it so we have already pressed the key electric current is passing through r and s means unknown resistor and known resistance there is a galvanometer g and here there is a jockey key jockey key means moving key so you have to move the key on a wire ab and you have to find the null point that is d what is d so here d is known as null point what do you mean by null point okay null point is similar to that balance condition of that western bridge at the null point this galvanometer shows what it shows zero deflection right it means electric current passing through the circuit is zero so at the null point use the same condition that means here null point is obtained at a length l1 from a and from b it is obtained at a length l2 okay so from this relation r is proportional to l1 and s is proportional to l2 okay so r is proportional to l1 and s is proportional to l2 take a ratio 
if we are taking the ratio then r by s is equal to l1 by l2 but what but l1 plus l2 means l1 l2 it is nothing but length of wire and it is taken as 100 centimeter so instead of l2 take l1 on this side so you will get r by s is equal to l1 upon what will come 100 minus l1 okay so from this equation you can find unknown resistance which resistor we have taken unknown that is r so make a subject r r is equal to l1 upon 100 minus l1 multiply by s so by using this equation you can find the value of unknown resistance by using two registers only so in western bridge there were four register but in meter bridge there are only two registers okay and because of this reason it is known as compact form of western bridge and by using this equation you will get the value of unknown resistance have a look